Hello everyone, it is me, Jenny. I am coming on to say hi, and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I was gone for a week without saying anything. I wasn't planning to be gone. It just kind of happened. I posted, I think, about a week ago, and my last video was maybe my scans, and that went well, and now we're waiting on results. So, and I still need to edit Winnie's birthday video. So I went to Oregon this past week to visit my best friend and her family. And in my mind, I brought my computer with all my video, video footage and all that. I was gonna edit Winnie's uh, birthday video and upload that this week. And then I was gonna film just some of our time in Oregon and upload that this week. And neither of those happened. And there was no reason. It wasn't like I said to myself, oh, I'm gonna take a week off of social media or anything. I just accidentally took a week off of social media. But it was nice because, you know, it wasn't planned or anything. I was just enjoying my time with loved ones that I just wasn't thinking about it. And it was really nice. Then as the week went on, I started to realize, oh my gosh, I haven't posted online. I should post a quick update just to let everyone know I'm okay and then go on about my week. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll post an update. And Kyle's like, yeah, good idea. I never did that. No reason why, I just never did that. And then um, we drove home and I started reading comments on the drive home and I saw that people were worried and I felt terrible. And then I saw that some people think I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead, guys, I'm alive. I'm here, I'm alive. This is real, this is me, this is just oxygen. It's real, I'm alive. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry if I worried anyone to really honestly think that. I feel so terrible, I, I didn't mean to. And I will try not to have big gaps next time. And if I do, I'll just like do one of those text posts saying, letting you know that I'm fine. I just wasn't thinking about it, enjoying vacation and you guys I feel so sick I still feel sick from that last treatment I still haven't gotten better I still need to use a wheelchair when we're out and about I'm still on my oxygen I'm still on all my pain meds I am just not doing well so I was sick the whole time I was there as well I couldn't run around the creek like I wanted to or jump in the pond like I wanted to. I had to stay in the shade. I had to stay in the air conditioning. I had to be very careful. I learned that the heat doesn't do well with me right now, which in my defense, there's a heat wave going on on the west coast of the US. Yeah, the west coast. And, um, so not only was I enjoying myself, I was also resting. So I didn't even enjoy myself as much as I would have liked to. I rested a lot of the time there to try to get myself better. And one day I had a bad episode to where we had to call 911 again. I had to take an ambulance and go to the emergency room. Uh, that was scary, very scary. And I am fine, as you can see, I'm fine. I'll make a video about that, but I feel like I'll end up blabbing for too long and Kyle has to drain me in a little bit. We time it with my when I took my medicine, so I have to go soon um, to get my fluid drained. But I ended up being okay. The hospital in Oregon was great. The ambulance in Oregon was great. And the people in Oregon, like the doctors, the nurses, the EMTs, everyone, they were so, great and kind i loved everyone it was it was wonderful i told melanie if i do end up living in oregon ever i would be happy with the healthcare out here because they're really nice the healthcare workers and um she was all excited but i'm not leaving because i like staying close to my doctor and um it's a bummer because i do love oregon but I have family here too as well. And anyway, see here I go with the blabbing. <laughs> um, we took Flower with us for the first time. This was her first ever trip, road trip, 
anywhere. And we took her on a long, long drive. She did great. I would give her a, a grade. Her overall grade is an A. So the things that mark her from, down from being an A+, plus, A+, plus would have been the highest score. Um, on the way home, she sharded on my dress. So she farted, but stuff came out on my dress. And that gave her points down. And then on the way home, she struggled a li little bit to calm down because she realized how fun road trips are. She just was hyper. So that was a little annoying. But nothing too bad. So I think she did great. She got an A. That is a great grade for me. Um, and everyone loved her in Oregon. She was our little city girl in the farm. She got fleas even though she has drops and stuff. So we need to give her another flea bath, which she already had and call her our city girl. Our city girl. She was becoming a farm girl. It was fun. We talked to my doctors while I was there. I talked to some friends on the phone while I was there. My sister said, get home, I miss you, while I was there. My brother stayed at our house. He, he and or my dad are the ones who take care of our house when we're gone but my brother stayed here, had a, his own bachelor pad with our cat, and our cat loved him, he said. So thanks, Mike, for staying here. We appreciate that. And it is hot here. I think I'm gonna turn the air on more because like I said, there's this heat wave. We ended up driving, we we're gonna drive partly through the day yesterday, I think. I don't remember, or no, today, and then stay at a hotel and then drive during the day tomorrow but my sister was worried with the heat wave that for some reason there'd be car trouble or something on the drive it's a really long drive and parts of the drive are just empty fields with road and like no stops so she didn't want something to happen where I was stuck in the heat like this with my health like this so she asked us to drive fly or drive in the night we decided to drive in the night so Kyle pulled an all-nighter last night and drove us all the way home in record speed, the fastest we've ever driven. Not that he was speeding, but we weren't stopping because the kids were asleep for most of it, not asking for potty breaks or snack breaks, they were sleeping. <laughs> so that went well. I'm so proud of him, so grateful for him. He loves a good road trip, so do all of us. And he's always proud to be the driver and the dad. You guys know he didn't have his dad growing up, so he's always, really proud when he gets to do the dad role stuff because he he's like making up for what he didn't get as a kid and is there anything else i think that's it mainly i wanted to say i'm so sorry i didn't mean to scare you guys and i didn't realize how long it's been um i still have to edit Winnie's birthday and upload it and i will so keep an eye out for that but remember that's an old video so that's from like July 1st through July 4th. And then I have stuff this week. I don't know what's happening with the clinical trial. I might be getting approved for the clinical trial. I might not, we'll see. I'm nervous for that. I want to do it. I deep down want to do it because it's a pill form and blue, the clinical trial blue was a pill form. And I did so well on that, that I'm hoping for some reason I do better on a pill form. I don't know. Um, I'm just scared to do another round of treatment when this past round of imivatinab, no, I don't remember what it was called, um, where it just did me in so badly. And I feel so sick still. I just hope it's nothing like that again. And I still need to get my scan results. So my team, I think they wanted to give them to me this week. And we were like, no, thank you. <laughs> we're on vacation, we don't wanna know. Even if it was good, bad, I didn't wanna know because I wasn't thinking about it. I was just blocking it out. So we'll probably get scan results this week as well. My sister has the kids while we are here to do the draining of the fluid 
and then we're gonna go to my sister's house and visit with her and everyone there because we miss them so much and she said they miss us so we're gonna go visit and I already missed my Oregon family I love you guys I miss you but now we're gonna go see my sis and her family because I miss them I'm gonna go so that Kyle can drain my lung keep an eye out for Winnie's birthday footage that'll be up this week my scan results and what my next treatment plan will be please continue praying for me guys i appreciate it so much you all mean so much to me truly and i'm sorry again for scaring you i love you i'll i'll see you soon bye hopefully this draining doesn't hurt bye